Hello, my beautiful Pisces. This is the Spirit Font, and we're having a quick look at the energies that will be surrounding you this month of August. Um, just remember, as we go through it, it is going to be general, so your discretion and intuition is necessary. It just can't resonate with every Pisces. If it does, though, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, please, and feel free to book a personal reading if you're interested. All right, guys, let's get into it, Pisces. Six of Cups and the Lovers. Oh my gosh, what a sweet energy this is. Um, I kind of feel that possibly the group of Pisces I'm connecting with in this reading um, are single. Um, either by choice or by circumstance, okay? And you guys have either been single for quite some time or there's a group of you who are unfortunately... The relationships or partners you've manifested in the past, um, I kind of just see them being a little bit more burdensome than fulfilling. I kind of sense that this journey of love and relationships has not been easy for you, Pisces, with this Ten of Wands coupled up with the six of pentacles unfortunately this is giving me a very strong energy where your past partners either came in with their own intentions and not necessarily yours in mind um there's also an energy here where some of them could have been breadcrumbing you and not necessarily giving you all of themselves there's also an energy here where possibly your past relationships just lacked balance pisces you are a water sign you are very giving i do feel that there could have been an imbalance in the sense that you are always the one giving more than what you truly deserved in that relationship okay and i do also feel unfortunately pisces this isn't just one partner you've had multiple situations like this or you were with one person like this for a very very long time but like i said pisces i do feel like this is energies from your past these are energies from the people you used to manifest but i do kind of sense that a lot of you got tired either that's tired of dating tired of being in these type of situations or tired of the types of people you were dealing with and it's because of that energy you chose to kind of be on your own for a little bit okay maybe clear through some of the energies that make you manifest these kind Kinds of people or just take some time and space to deal with your own vibrations and not necessarily always having to give to a partner who kind of ends up being a little bit more of a burden okay um so yeah pisces like i said before i don't think that love has been easy for you in the past um I hate to say it, that Ten of Wands is a very, very heavy energy. It's giving me an energy where some of you could have also just wanted to just give up. Okay, I'm never going to find this person. I'm just unlucky in love. Um, that's an energy I'm getting from this. However, the Ten of Wands, the silver lining of this card is that that journey is coming to an end. A very tough cycle is coming to a close. As you can see, this person's very, very close to reaching their destination, Pisces. And when it comes to your love story i see a lot of changes and transformations coming in i kind of see you finally reaching some sort of destination with a completely new cycle possibly because a lot of you have kind of learned the types of partners you were manifesting in the past um, or something about your energy that was a little bit too open and giving. Um, I do sense that unfortunately there has been a very heavy lesson learned and with this heavy lesson you've been able to manifest something a little bit healthier, a little bit more balanced and a little bit more give and take okay so let's get into these energies that I'm loving so much. I do feel that there's a very I mean, the death is literally the card of deaths and rebirths. There's someone coming in, Pisces, that's really about to shake your perception about romance. That's really about to shake your perception about romantic partners. Everything that you've been through in the past kind of feels like it's going to be the complete opposite of the type of relationship you are manifesting. This person coming in feels so sweet and also kind of feels like someone divinely guided to 
to you i can't explain that to you even more. um i can't explain that to you guys anymore this does feel like a manifestation it feels like a manifestation for those pisces who have gone through some sort of transformation those pisces who have learned some lessons from the tough cycles of the past and from my pisces who've kind of created boundaries and are no longer just giving to anyone who looks in their direction there's a lesson been learned here about what it is that you deserve thus being able to manifest someone who mirrors that a little bit better for you guys i hope i'm making sense here pisces um i hate to say it but i do feel that a lot of the people or relationships you were in the past um you kind of manifested something in those situations uh, where you kind of made your relationships burdensome or you gave too much too soon so your person felt lazy in the relationship. There's something about... Um, your own patterns in this 10 of wands that I feel in this time of being single, you've been able to analyze. And I'm hoping, Pisces, you've come to a place where you could put these wands down and start a new cycle with someone once again. That just feels fresh. Um, it feels... There's something very karmic about this energy and karmic soulmates aren't always bad. Um, it could just be a happy karmic cycle with someone who um, it's almost like the universe has seen your troubles um, and the universe is kind of appreciating that you've dropped some energy, you've dropped something or you've learned something. thus allowing up space or opening up space for something new. Does that make sense, Pisces? By healing something, learning something, releasing something, there's now space for the universe to bring you someone better fitted is the energy I'm getting with the lovers, the magician, and the six of cups. This is soulmate energies. This is karma. This is the universe. This is possibly even some twin flame energies, some past life energies. Pisces, I can't tell you the warm energy I'm getting from this person. I also kind of feel that um, when this person comes in, they're going to feel so different to what you're used to, where you're usually the one possibly chasing in relationships. You're usually the one doing all the work. This person's actually going to meet you halfway. This person's actually going to balance you in ways you haven't experienced before that at times it could feel a little bit too good to be true. Um, don't get in your head. Don't second guess it. Don't doubt it. Um, understand that for a lot of you Pisces, this is a little bit of a reward for those of you who've been through some crap. That's all I can say when it comes to relationships with these three cards. Let me say these two cards, okay? Um, some crap with these three cards, actually. Like um, that death could be indications of, you know, constant disappointments, constant breakups, constant people disappearing out of your life ghosting um i don't know i'm just getting you know people who didn't value my beautiful pisces heart that's about to change okay there's a definite counterpart coming in um someone who's gonna mirror you so make sure you are seeing yourself in high regard in order to manifest someone who sees you in high regard make sure you've truly dropped the burdens of the past you've forgiven yourself for manifesting people like this and you've forgiven the people who left these burdens on you in order to truly be clear and free of them like i said thus being fully transformed and ready for Pisces, the sweetest thing. This is the sweetest energy with that six of cups and the lovers. It just feels so pure, so genuine. And I keep feeling like saying the word divine. Um, so yeah, wow, Pisces. Ooh. Please understand though that um, I'm not getting X energies. Sometimes that could be what the six of cups indicates someone from your past. But I just get this new wave with the death of everyone from your past being left in your past. Uh, maybe you still carry their energy in lessons and in memories, but you don't carry any of the hurt. Um, and this person coming in is just fresh, new, 
just fresh new love pisces i can't explain the sweet vibration i'm getting from these cards a very warm energy as well so maybe this person's just a very warm person um get out there pisces and also let bygones be bygones don't paint everyone with the same paintbrush from your past i promise you this new person is a manifestation and they are nothing like your past um this is someone who's going to mirror you today um, with all the growth that you've actually gained from your past, okay? Um, and this is unfortunately only for my Pisces who've let something go, who've transformed something in their lives, and who've either been single for some time or have... <clears throat> You had to be single because the types of people you were manifesting were draining you. So you chose to clear something on your own and now something else comes in. Okay, Pisces. So for those of you hoping for reconciliation, I don't think this is the reading for you, okay? Let's see. Let's get some more um, clarifications of why has it been such a tough cycle for Pisces to manifest the one? Why has this person taken so long? Pisces, oh, this is a joke. All right, so this has nothing to do with um, that past energy. This is the person that's coming in. I think this person's actually taken this long because they are a manifestation. Um, the universe had to cook this person up for you, um, prepare you for them, uh, prepare your circumstances, prepare the situation for when you two would meet, um, prepare the two of you for each other. Does that make sense? So maybe these energies aren't just Pisces energies. This could be the energy that your person was in as well. Um, I do get a lot of mirroring between the two of you. So they've also had a tough journey towards you, Pisces, this person journey of love has also been just as difficult as yours um they've also been through some transformations they've also been healing themselves thus the universe brings them you as their reward and them as your reward pisces oh this is very long awaited energy um i do feel that a lot of you have kind of given up because it's taken so long but do understand why it took so long i love this divine i love this heavenly i love this full of karma and the universe's blessing doesn't just show up in the blink of an eye this is something that's been if not months coming towards you i'm feeling generations okay i really feel like this is someone you've dealt with in a past life um even if it's not romantically this could have been a best friend in a past life this could have been a sibling in a past life and now they're coming back in for another cycle with you but a little bit more romantically with that ace of cups oh, i see i can't i can't i can't six of cups lovers ace of cups all that's missing is the two of cups to come out in your reading and kind of um, just put a, a brand on how much this person is going to rock your world. I actually see a lot of you being very... Don't be too closed off, okay, when this person comes in. I see a little bit of, I don't want to say I'm picking up on a fear, but I'm picking up on this person being so good that you kind of dismiss them as too good to be true. This person's a charmer. This person's lying to me about their feelings. This can't be real. There must be something going on. Just understand that you're just being triggered by your past. This person is that good to be true. Um, this is everything that you've been waiting for, Pisces, with that three of wands. This is a wish fulfillment. It is a dream come true, a manifestation, love at first sight, soulmate. I can't, I, I feel like I'm going to go off on a tangent. I can't describe to you how sweet and precious this person's vibration is and how much they're going to just love you out of your own insecurities, Pisces. Wow. Do I even have to clarify any further? Let's just one more shuffle. This reading's going to go on a little bit longer than anticipated. Ooh, the chariot. This person's going to move you forward. 
long time coming very slow moving energy um and yeah there's that energy once again of being triggered um being confused when this person comes in because this journey to this person has been filled with a lot of heartbreak um i do feel that a lot of you it's either you don't trust love or people have kind of broken your trust um but like i said that's all in the past this person's nothing like your past okay pisces i think some of you also kind of like need to just open up to the idea that you do deserve someone as precious as the six of cups coupled up with the lovers this is truly someone who you don't have to say anything they just know because you guys are truly meant to be together i can't describe it anymore pisces wow i feel a lot of you rolling your eyes as i say a lot of these things only because you don't believe that love like this exists for you or mm -hmm, you don't <gasps> lovers yes sorry we've got the lovers at the bottom of the deck that's just more clarification that this person's gonna rock your world uh but a lot of you with this four of cups Please don't miss this opportunity, guys, because of your past triggering you. You might not take this cup, but this cup is the one cup you are meant to take, okay? A lot of you are a little bit closed off, but that's okay. I do also sense that there have been, for those of you who are single, there have been some offers coming in, but they just don't tickle your fancy. I guarantee you this next person coming in, they're going to tickle your fancy. This is someone that you need to take a leap of faith with. You need to trust your gut and your intuition with this person. Like I said, they are a new cycle for you. Um, this is someone you're going to be successful with, victorious with. This is something that's going to be very strong, the, the relationship between the two of you, the connection. This is going to be someone who commits with the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles. And that could also indicate traditional commitment so marriage um children moving in together something traditional okay this is someone who doesn't play games pisces i do feel like when this person comes in they're gonna tell you pretty quickly um what it is they're looking for from you because they're gonna pick up on the energy just as quickly as you do or even quicker than you and one more sidebar lots of gemini energy here so for some of you just if a gemini bumps into you and your heart goes boom 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 i told you so okay doesn't have to be though remember this this is general could just be someone with a lot of gemini energies when is gemini season maybe that's when you meet this person not too sure your grounding energy this is a little bit longer than i expected but hey is what it is um peaks of joy but it's in reverse so i don't know why it came out in reverse this seems like quite a positive reading so let's see do you rely too heavily on your material achievements when you assess how happy you are perhaps you say i'll be happy when i meet the right lover make the right amount of money reach my own my ideal weight and so on why wait to arrive to the perfect destination hmm. before allowing yourself to experience sheer delight this is a day of joy take a walk listen to the songbirds scratch a kitty's head play with a dog look at a baby and be in awe of life which leads to a true sense of bliss be alive be grateful and know that happiness is an inside job yeah guys so like i said this person's gonna mirror you so make sure you're in the perfect energy before they come in so that the soulmate vibration can just take off really quickly okay love and light pisces this is such beautiful energy